Ja, ik ga even oil pan. Ik heb dit. Dit is om te prime de engines in, yeah. in de vehicle. In de, when you finish it, flip it over, I'll fill it up with oil, spin it up with this, and that primes it. As you can see, this is pretty worn out there. So I do prime my engines, everybody. All right, so we use this, but I'm going to show you another way of doing it for people that haven't got one and they're on the go. Now, this is the oil pump drive. It goes into the oil pump here like this. And you're physically doing this with the drill. So you're spinning it around like that. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what primes the engine. So you, the pickup's inside the oil and it does that. So another way is you open up the pump and we're gonna fill it up with um grease. Wipe the hold of the app on the give back then. And these things I reckon, it's a Millings pump. I wonder who's making this because they've got metric bolts. It's a um, metric head bolts. I wonder if they're UNC in there. They are too. Yeah, a bit funny. So, very good pumps. One of the best. So, I'm going to put a little bit of. Not too much. Just so around here, the same so because it's actually bone dry. Do you remember the Holden V8 one I showed you last time, Sam? It was full of oil from the factory? Yeah. But they yeah. test them, you know? These ones have not been tested. They just throw them together. But I did have a batch of oil pumps and millings once, but they made a mistake. They forgot. They changed the manufacturer. So millings forgot to put a little tiny hole. So a little hole inside there. Yeah. For a bleed black, for the oil to... When the relief valve gets stuck open, it's to back off and drain the oil back from the back of it. So they forgot to do that hole. And I was blowing the oil filters off the engines. I actually was shocked to see, I, I couldn't believe that happened to me. And um, they didn't say, the manufacturer did not say anything. The people that sold them to us said nothing. What you do, we'll put the plate back on. This is another way. So you can, I can actually just throw this straight in, into the engine dry, but you don't, you know what I mean? Mm. And um, just prime it up with that, and that's fine. But if, I, if I actually whack that in, inside here, I should really get... Watch it come up. Pop. Oh, yeah. See that? Look at that. How cool is that? Pretty good, huh? Right. Now, we're going to put a brand new pickup on this. Still got to go more. That's okay. I'll bolt it up onto the engine and I'll pull it across. Now that's gone. That's like that. See the lip there? Yep. I'll pop that on like that. Now that's done. Now I'm going to check here. See that? Make sure it's quite clear and stuff. We haven't put it up aside, across the block. So I know it's in, in the in the block. We've got an oil hole. Yeah, I'm going to have to show you, man. No, it's going to be very hard to see. Right here. So the distributor goes through here. And we're going to get it through here. So I'm going to put the pin in to show you. I'm talking about. I'm going to pretend this is your pump. So it's going to come through here. See that? Yeah. So when you get that that drive to be like that, in the that's where the so what happens? The camshaft spins the distributor shaft that's got teeth on it, which has got the Allen key part that goes inside the distributor and drives the pump. That's how this actually works. In other words. <coughs> This rubbish distributor I've got here, see that? Yep. So that goes inside the sleeve, into the block. So that's what actually drives the camshaft. Sits in here. See that? 
Then all that Allen key goes in there, and the, the camshaft spins that, and it turns the oil pump here. Exactly. That's how it is. Now, yeah. sump. Sump. We're going to put a GT sump on it. The GT sumps, uh, still buying brand new. That's the difference. See that? The baffle. Baffle. Really? Yeah. That's the difference. That's all it is. Yeah, right. It's got that. You're paying for that. Just a little bit. You can put aviation on if you want. This is good. A little spin's not going to hurt it. I hate oil leaks. Gaskets. Easy. Just sit like that. I was an apprentice and we were using this stuff, man. This Felpro stuff. Same ones. Same gaskets, man. Haven't changed. Nothing. That's good. Good on them. If it, if it works well. Push it in. Into the group. I think a lot of people hate oil leaks. I hate them. 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 I hate them bad. Pop that in there. Nice and tight, it's good actually, I like it. Beautiful, okay. Done. Put my sump on. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Hungry Jacks. <laughs> huh? Sounds good. Yeah. Lift a lid up. So, lubricating. Roll, hey, listen. Rollers. These things, yep. Johnson. You can buy lifters on the net. I've seen them like 580 bucks. Roll lifters are some Chinese ones there for 200 bucks. Mm. 1600 bucks. What? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. These do not, these are really, really, really good. These are proper racing ones. You switch off the car, it's not going to sit there and go ta 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 ta. Yeah. Backwards, right? Yeah. Oh, you can. You can. I will not. Yeah, <laughs> heads. What we're going to do? I'm going to bring one of the heads here and explain what you've done. Yes, what we've done here with the heads. Let me get this little rag there. All right. Now. You gotta get a bank line for these. <laughs> so I put a beehive spring on it, 155 pound seat pressure on this. I've got a, um, I changed the, the seal inside. They've got brass guides in them, and I put a different seal in there instead of the Teflon. Made by a company here in Australia called Advertiser. Oop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chamber. Stainless steel valves. Very nice. Yes, and there are two. Very there are two V head. Uh, it's they're good. Aussie, there's that little Aussie symbol there, you know. The Australian flag. Yeah. And I actually checked the seats on them. I actually cut them again just to check them. You know, they're real spot on compared to some other ones that I have to do. I shouldn't be doing them anyway. And I mean, if you're buying new heads off the shelf, you've got to really check them. Don't trust anybody. So that, that's what we're going to use. But again, finger tight. And pop them on. I've got to get the dowels. I've got that there. That there. Yep. That's, that's the top. The Allen key. The idea of the Allen key is: say you're in a, you got this in an engine bay, and yep. you blew a head gasket. You can't lift the head out because it hits against the, the body of the car. So they've made them like that, so you can put an Allen key in them and unscrew them, take the head studs out and slide your head out without... Oh. That's why they're there. Smart engineering. Imagine having, trying to get it out. Say it's stuck, you can't get it out, you know? It would be 
pulling your hair out. You've got to pull the motor out. We don't want to do that. We just want to change a head gasket. So, studs are in. That's it. So, pop the head on it. Head bolts, washers. I'm going to go in the steps. We'll go first this one. We're going to work with a corkscrew. Next step. Last it. Okay. Gives you a yeah, you got a nice workout. Oh yeah. Push watch. We've got do this. Not oh, these are retaining uh they um I've seen them before. They hold the push the push rod, but these yeah. the difference with these they're adjustable. Oh yeah. Check this out, sorry, sorry. Whack this one. And the long one goes there. Is that the adjustment there? Yeah, you can, do, you can put them wherever you want, you know? Yep. It's a good idea. So we're going to line up the rocket, because it might sit off offset. Now. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later. So, so. Okay. Push rods. Let's sit in there. Yellow Terra. Very go. nice. Yes, yes. Overseas in America, the Yellow Terra seller under the brand of Voodoo Lenardi repackaged. A lot of them, a lot of top end stuff is repackaged. And I know the Yellow Terra. Look at that. Very nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Now they just sit. Like that. We're going to check all the heights on this anyway. Okay. I think we'll go get something to eat, Sam. What do you reckon? Sounds good. We'll come back. Okay. This is what I was talking about before being adjustable. See this? Yep. All right. See the push rod? Yeah. When you put the rocker on, and you put it on into there, look at the front of the tip of the... You see that? Yeah. yeah. So what we do, we're going to centralise it there. Hold it down. Now we can tighten it. Now put it on. Now I've already, I think I've tightened this up. I've already done that one before. Okay? I'll check it again. I didn't want it. There you go. Lucky. <coughs> Lucky fuel. <laughs> Roller rockers. So you got that? Yep. That's what you put it on. The reason is the posi locks for the for that. A flat and they sit into that groove there. Like that. See that? Yep. That's a, if you go the other way, they still go on, but it's not Snappy. right. You know, it's gonna be you're putting a lot of load on the start, so yeah, turn that up.
Yeah, quickly um, I'll adjust them up. Yeah, there are a lot of ways of doing this. People, you know, they're sitting there tightening the other, you tighten this up to whatever. The idea of it is to get get rid of it. Yeah, so what we'll do, you have got to get rid of the clearance, so like that. Zero clearance. Quarter turn. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Now, you don't tighten the Allen key up, it will come loose. If you paid attention when I did, yeah. watch this. So I'm going to go quarter turn, I'm going to go a little bit more than that, I can feel the lifter going down. Now I've bottomed that out to the stud, mm -hmm. don't even have to do that, you don't have to hold it. But you're actually tightening the stud with the allen key together. Yeah. That, uh, that will not come loose at all. <clears throat> go berserk in the car. People go, oh, I'm going to adjust my, my, my solid cam because they're noisy again. Because you didn't adjust them properly, man. Mm. This is it. And you can see these are pretty spot on. All the heights are virtually the same. If you've got one that's sitting up a bit higher, the thread a bit low, you've done a mistake somewhere. You've got to be careful. The valve tip, I, I've done it on this one and this one. If you have a look at it, I've got some like some grease on it to see where it is actually touching on the end of the tip of the valve mm -hmm. and it's going to be central you know look at this it's going to this is going to rev the guy's going to pull his pants mate you know <laughs> <laughs> he's going to love it he's going to enjoy it all right i'm going to flip it up i'm going to do the other side now without dropping the engine on the ground yeah <clears throat> so both the heads are now on yep Oh, look at this, I want to show you something, Sam. Mm. How are we... Look at this, look at this rubbish, Sam. How's that going to seal? What do you see wrong? It's the... It's not going to happen, car. is it? Look at that. Oh. Aftermarket heads. No good. <laughs> yeah, now the factory so, gasket so yeah. doesn't work. So we've got, to, we've got to... Look at this gap here. Ain't going to work. It's going to be a big oil leak. Yeah. Look at this special stuff that we're going to fix called silicon. This is it, boys. This is the only way you want to put alloy heads on. Let's see what the comments are going to say about this, huh? No mucking around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, uh, like bogging up a car, isn't it, Ben? But look, we've got no choice there. And what you do, you let, it, you let it set, it dries, and then you cut it with a razor blade nice and neat around it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it looks, it looks reasonably good. There's nothing. I never thought of it, you know. It makes some metal heads. Yeah, 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 it's fine, but nothing. So we're going to throw an air gap manifold from Edelbrock. Yeah, you know what I did many years ago with one of these? What's that? <laughs> I'll put it back to front. Backwards. It actually fits like that. And it fits like that. Right. I'm not joking. But I think this is the back of it. You think? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think. Otherwise I'm pulling it off. You know, you know what I think it is? It's got the Oh, this is that. This is this is a a, a bit of a, a balance for the oil pressure. Because this used to when I used to race them down Conrod Strait, these just sort of throw Conrods out the back, you know? <laughs> they have two hundred Ks an hour. I used to run out of oil down the back cylinders. So, like this. You can run it across on top here. Or underneath. Oh, or through the manifold here. In my oh, okay. I'll go through the manifold here. Right, might be a little bit neater, eh? Yeah. Like that. Okay. So, the idea of it is. Put a fitting on here. 
여기까지 네. Now s c r o l l to here. I'm gonna put some, um, put some gorilla saw on that. <laughs> right, so this guy's here. It's not aligned. So what it is, the F100s had the all-pressure switch here, in yep. the front. The commercial, the normal, normal car had the all-pressure switch in the back here. So what, what are we actually doing is just swapping it around, uh, balancing the oil pressure. So oil pressure is going from here, supplying more here, here, it's doing this. Mm -hmm. So the motor is lubricated from the center out perfectly, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the idea of it. So we'll put it in, so at least the back, the back cylinders are going to have uh, oil pressure there. Okay, so what I have to do is swap it around the other way then. Put the old bike on that side because of the manifold. Yep. Beautiful. Which is plenty for the guy on the street. That's it. We can go home now, Sam. We've done it. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Different. A lot, a lot of time, man. We've still got a cam plug to put on the back and a couple more bolts we're going to get for the, for the top. We're going to block this off here too. Might as well do that now anyway. And we're done. Uh, nice work, man. What's the next engine you want to see done, man? Oh, I don't know. Huh? we got a whole factory full of them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> done, we're done. Take it easy. Till next time, Sam. No worries, see you later. Done, yeah, done. Like my study order? Looks good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was still cold, man. Eight hours doing this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. The whole day. All day. See ya. See ya.